What's good, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna get y'all boys right, man. I'm gonna be giving y'all some shooting tips. I'm gonna give y'all like four really good jump shots. I'm gonna go over how to get your hot spots. I'm gonna go everything, everything to do with shooting. I'm gonna go over in today's video. But before we get into the video, before I save y'all shooting percentages, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on that noti bell. If you're one of the first people to comment noti squad in the comments, I will be showing your name on the screen just like these beautiful people right here. And drop a like if you end up liking the video. It does help out the video a lot. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video, you are. Alright, first off, let's check your hot spots. You're gonna wanna go to my career stats. Go to roster, click on your player, and you can check your hotspots right here. You're going to want to make sure you have all your hotspots because hotspots can be the difference between bricking and green in a shot. You need your hotspots. As you can see, I got mostly all my hotspots. I don't know those cold spots. Like, I just don't shoot there. You know, I don't even use those spots. But as you can see, I got all hotspots and even a lethal zone. So, like, you're not missing with hotspots. I promise you. The best way to get your hotspots is going to your settings. Go over the quarter length, make this 12 minutes and make it rookie difficulty. Bro, some of these my career games, I swear I'll be having like 300, 200 points. Okay, maybe not 300, but I'll be dropping like 200 points. Just shoot all around the court. Each game should last like 30 minutes. You can play as much as you want. It don't matter how many games you play. If you want to play like 10 rookie games on 12 minute quarters. It's going to take you a little bit, but you will secure your hot zones. You know what I'm saying? The more games you play, the more your hot zones are going to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Just like you just got to agree a bunch of shots in different zones and you'll keep your hot zones. All right. So after you grind out your hot spots, you want to come here to the art of shooting gym right here. You know, you can get a few lethal zones. You can only do it once a week. So every Monday, make sure you come to the art of shooting and get some lethal zones. You can get two lethal zones and a lethal zone is just like a hot spot on steroids. I'm not going to lie. So make sure you come in here, get your lethal zones. And you know, so you can only do it once a week. You can only get two zones. So put the two lethal zones in your favorite spots. If you're missing in your lethal zones, I don't know what to tell you. Lethal zones go crazy. As you can see, I only have one because I did mess up on my drill. You do have to hit all your shots in these drills. But if you do these drills once a week, you should be able to get two lethal zones. Make sure you get your hot spots and your lethal zones. It'll definitely help you guys shoot a lot better. All right, before we get into the jump shots, let's go over the controller settings. Make sure you turn off your vibration and trigger effect. You know, say so those are just distractions when you're shooting the ball. I don't like having that like trigger effect, the vibration. So I turn those off. I turn off my shot meter, but apparently your jump shot meter being turned off doesn't give you as big of a boost as it used to. Apparently a patch came out and you don't even really get a boost without jump shot meter off anymore. But I don't really care because when I have jump shot meter on, it's more of a distraction like when i have the meter on i'm just staring at the meter i'm not really like focused on my jump shot so i always turn it off anyway now for the shot time and visual cue every single youtuber will tell you a different visual cue but i like push push is right down the middle bro it's not too fast it's not too slow push like it just makes me it just helps me the most when timing my jump shots it just feels the most comfortable for me but this is really just preference whatever you want to go with it does not matter. No shot time and visual cue is better than the other. It's really just preference. So whatever you want to go with, stick with it. Me personally, I like push and I suggest y'all should try push. You know what I'm saying? Push go crazy. But that's my visual time and cue. And these are my controller settings. If you want to copy them down real quick. Before we get into some gameplay, I'm going to give y'all four jump shots that helped me sh shoot like a lot better. Use the four jump shots I use on all my builds. I got like a ton of builds with different three pointers. So these jump shots are all going to have different three-pointers. If you can use them, try them out. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. But these four jump shots are really good. And I think y'all like all four of them. Starting off with my best jumper. It requires the highest three-pointer. This is my Tracy McGrady jump shot. You need an 89 mid-range or an 89 three-pointer. As you can see on the bottom right, I only have a 77 three-pointer. But my mid-range is a 90. So I can get this OP jump shot right here. It's so overpowered. Tracy McGrady is a cheat code. This is the best base in the game by far. But you need a high three-pointer for Tracy McGrady. I think you need like an 87 mid-range or three-pointer to even unlock this base. So if you have this base, definitely put it on, bro. This base go crazy. For my releases, I use Kyle Korver and Troy Brown Jr. Troy Brown Jr. is one of my favorite releases. It's very fast, and I use it on most of my jump shots. So you know what I'm saying? Try this out. It's actually pretty tough. 
and for the release speed and the animation blending is max speed 57% Kyle Korver and 43% Troy Brown so I'm saying this this is the best jump shot I have I'm not gonna lie I go crazy with this jump shot right here next up we got Scotty Pippen jump shot you know Scotty Pippen is an underrated base you know what I'm saying I don't know what three-pointer you need for the Scotty Pippen base I think wait let me check real quick let me put this on let me put this on default let me put this on default yeah so you need a 75 three-pointer to get Scotty Pippen I'm pretty sure because on the bottom right it says 75 but I really don't know what type of three-pointer you need for Scotty Pippen but this is a very good base my releases for this base are Kobe Bryant and Troy Brown Jr as I said Troy Brown Jr is one of my favorite releases for the speed it's gonna be maxed out 44 Kobe Bryant 56 Troy Brown Jr you do need an 88 three-pointer for this jump shot but it, I'm, I'm sure if you change around the releases you probably don't need an 88 three-pointer as long as you get Scotty Pippen base is very tough I ain't gonna lie it's very tough next up for the third jump shot we got Dyson Daniels Dyson Daniels is like the best base if you have like a 78 80 three-pointer if you're around that range this is the best base I'm not gonna lie for high 70s and low 80s Dyson Daniels goes crazy but my my releases for Dyson Daniels is Kobe Bryant and Sadiq Bey and I'll say those are two really good releases and for the speed it's gonna be max speed 50 50 blend and I'll say this jump shot is extremely fast so uh, all my jump shots are fast so if you don't like how fast each jump shot is just turn down the speed a little bit you know what I'm saying it should fix that problem but I highly suggest this jump shot it's very tough Lastly, if you have like an 85 three-pointer, I suggest you put on this jump shot right here. Benedict Matherin, I used it like all last year. It was one of my best jump shots in 2K23. I tried it this year. It's just as good. Benedict Matherin is extremely fast and quick. It's easy to time as well. You get an A, release height, A, release speed, B, defensive immunity. For my releases, Troy Brown Jr. and Oscar Robinson and for the release speed maxed out 50 50 blend i really do love this jump shot if you have around an 85 three-pointer i highly suggest you put this on all right now we're gonna jump into some gameplay you know what i'm saying this is the quickest game ever bro i shot seven for seven from the three-point line with a 77 three-pointer that just shows you bro with the right jump shot in your hot zones you won't miss now this dude's defense was terrible but listen this video is not about how to get open, bro. Like, getting open is on you. That, that's your part. I'm here to teach you how to shoot. Now, this dude, like, he just had no defense at all. I'm not going to lie. I didn't miss a single three-pointer. And I'm not even going to activate takeover because I know when I hit a shot with sharp take, it, it, like, people be acting like it doesn't even count. If I hit a shot with sharp take, it doesn't even count, apparently, bro, because I have sharp take. So I'm not even going to activate takeover. I'm going to just shoot lights out from the three-point line. And, you know what I'm saying, call it a day, bro. But this is my Tracy McGrady base jump shot. Tracy McGrady. If you have it, put it on, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's just so fast and it's smooth and it's so easy to time. It just looks so, it looks, it looks so majestic, bro. It looks beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. But this man cannot hold me, bro. Like, I don't know why I'm over dribbling. I'm low key. I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. But once I'm open, you know, it's like I'm agreeing at the end. As you can see, I got Mamba take, but I'm not gonna activate Mamba take, bro. I got him in the air jumping. I don't know what he was jumping out, but I'm lights out, bro. You got to fully smother my shot, bro. If it's not fully smothered, it's going in, bro. People be thinking I have a zen, bro. This, bro, I'm telling you, Tracy McGrady jump shot will change your life. He, bro, look, I don't know what he's doing. He's lagging out of bounds. He's just backing up. He gave up. He gave up, bro. He just couldn't guard me. Look, he's emoting, bro. Say goodbye, bro. 100% from three. All my jump shots that you've seen in the video are very very good but if you can get Tracy McGrady I might make a whole video on that one jump shot but hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to shoot just a little bit you know what I'm saying get your high zones find the right jump shot and you'll be you'll be okay bro I promise you I know sometimes it's hard to shoot in this game but if you just find the right jump shot and get your hot spots you shall be straight but do for today's video hopefully you guys have a blessed day and peace